from lemon bars to pizza to truffles and muffins, I'm gonna show you all the ways you can turn sugar cookie dough into a fun array of treats. Let's get started right away with one of my favorite desserts of all time, lemon bars. Sugar cookie dough makes the perfect crust for lemon bars, no mixing required. I love using the roll for this because you can just make slices at first, lay them in the pan, and then press them all together. Why didn't I think of that? You can just sub the sugar cookie dough for the crust ingredients in your favorite lemon bar recipe, bake it until it's lightly golden, and then top it with your favorite lemon bar filling. And the end product is this perfect little tasty treat that I definitely can't resist. Mm. Number two, pizza. This dough is the perfect choice for the base of the very popular fruit pizza, but this could also be the base for any kind of dessert pizza. It bakes up kind of soft and chewy, but a little bit crispy too, so just what you want in a pizza crust. You're gonna start this the same way you did the lemon bars, just by slicing and pressing it along the bottom of a pizza pan. Bake it until it's lightly golden, and then we top it with a delicious cream cheese frosting and a selection of whatever fruits you like. We have lots of great fruit pizza recipes at allrecipes.com. You really can turn this store-bought sugar cookie dough into a work of art. The final step for the fruit pizza is to brush it with a little bit of orange marmalade. Have I gotten your attention yet? If not, we've got several more to go. I'm gonna show you how to make turtles cookies using store-bought dough. I start by rolling them into walnut-sized balls and rolling those into chopped pecans. Place them on a baking sheet and then use a wooden spoon to create a well in the center. They bake up just like this and the hole is perfect to be filled with caramel and then drizzled with chocolate. It's gonna be hard convincing people that these cookies are actually easy to make. It's all about the sugar cookie dough shortcut. Number four, check out these cookie sticks. Are these not the cutest thing? Now normally I don't get into food crafts like this, but these are so easy that I might actually do this with my kids. To make these, you just take your roll of sugar cookie dough, stir in a little flour, mix it all together, and roll it out. Roll your dough into a rectangle and then cut it into sticks. Slide these onto your baking pan. Don't separate them. Bake them for 12 to 15 minutes until they're lightly golden, and then you'll separate them again with a knife once they're done. After they come out of the oven and you cut them, they look like this. And then all you do is just dip them in some melted chocolate and sprinkle with whatever toppings you like. I just think these are the perfect treat and they're easy to handle, no fork required, and kids will love them too. Number five, make pies. Y'all, this idea is so cute to use sugar cookie dough as your pie crust. Similar to what we did with the pizza or the lemon bars, you just take the dough and press it straight into the pie plate and then bake according to the package directions. Fill this with your favorite freezer pie or just simply fill it with ice cream and then you've got yourself a two ingredient pie. My next trick is to make dessert cups. This is the perfect time to use those pre-portioned packs of sugar cookie dough. They go right into these little muffin tins and they make the cutest cups. This is also a super affordable treat to feed a lot of people. They turn out like these precious little cookie cups and then you can fill them with whatever you want. You can use store-bought icing and sprinkles. You can do little scoops of ice cream. My personal favorite is the pre-made, no-bake cheesecake filling. Pipe it right in and top it with a fresh berry. These are the perfect pickup treats for baby showers, cocktail parties, or kids' birthday parties. I almost can't handle the cuteness. This next way to use sugar cookie dough is going to blow your mind. I'm gonna show you how I turn this refrigerated dough into muffins or cupcakes. I'm gonna make pumpkin muffins, one roll of sugar cookie dough with some self-rising flour, a can of pumpkin, and two eggs. And then just mix away. I mean, who to thunk it? Spoon the batter into cupcake liners, bake it off, and then Voila, cupcakes or muffins, however you look at it. But the amount of cream cheese frosting I decided to use, you definitely have to call it a cupcake. Next, let's make cakes. It's like the chocolate chip cookie version, but different and sometimes better. You'll fill a lined eight inch cake round with a good amount of dough, probably one roll per pan, pack it in there and bake it off. When it's done, you have a nice, thick and chewy cake layer. 
for the sake of time, I'm gonna use store-bought frosting. Although, who am I kidding? I'll always choose store-bought frosting. And this all of a sudden became a two-ingredient cake. That turned out pretty cute, I must say. I didn't know I was in the cake making business. And for my final trick, we're turning the cooked version of the sugar cookie dough into truffles. So similar to the truffles that you make with cake that you mix together with some icing, we're gonna break apart cooked sugar cookies, put them in a food processor with a little cream cheese and make the most delicious truffles. The cream cheese adds just enough moisture to get these cookies to hold together and form a ball. We'll take our little cookie truffles, dip them in our white chocolate or whatever you choose, place them onto some wax paper, and then we will sprinkle, of course. You can put these on a stick and do little cookie pops too, just like the cake pops. At the end of the day, sugar cookie dough is a great shortcut for affordable and easy desserts. Got any other great uses for sugar cookie dough? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video and wanna see more, hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on your notifications so you keep up with all things, all recipes. Stay sweet. I mean, who'd have thunk it? Now what? <laughs>